a chemistry student needs to learn chemical nomenclature. In this lesson, we'll teach you how to write and speak like a chemist so that important concepts do not fly over your head. Let's begin by defining some key terms. A compound is a group of atoms from two or more elements that are held together by chemical bonds. Nitrogen gas is not a compound because it contains nitrogen atoms only. But water is a compound because it contains hydrogen and oxygen atoms bonded to each other. If you recall from previous lessons, a cation is a positively charged ion, while an anion is negatively charged. This is true regardless of whether the ion is made from one atom or multiple atoms. The IUPAC is the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. This is an important organisation that publishes scientific research, updates the periodic table, and establishes chemical nomenclature. There are two parts to chemical nomenclature, naming chemicals and writing their chemical formulae. For example, when one carbon atom bonds to two oxygen atoms, we call the compound carbon dioxide and write the formula CO2. We always identify carbon first and oxygen last, not the other way around. But why is all of this important? Well, if everyone uses a different name to describe the same thing, chemistry would be even more confusing. Therefore, the purpose of nomenclature is to ensure every chemical has just one name and chemical formula. This helps avoid ambiguity and enables effective communication. <laughs>